50 year old male patient presented with severe headache and vomiting axial non air ct showing hemorrhage within the basal cisterns the hemorrhage is not extending into ciliary fissure or anterior interhemispheric fissure you can appreciate mild hydrocephalus in this case here you can see the uh, hemorrhage within the perimesing cephalic system that is in the pleural system system ambience interpeduncular system quadrigeminal system ct angiogram was performed to identify source of hemorrhage however you could not appreciate any source of uh, hemorrhage this is a negative ct angiogram with only right fetal origin pca so this is a classical case of perimesing cephalic non arisenal sah so this is this accounts for approximately 10 to 15 percent of all SAH absence of aneurysm or any other source of bleeding we attributed to venous source of hemorrhage and rupture of pontine perforating arteries blood is limited to the basal system with a negative CT angiogram these are the classical features of non aneurysmal perimesin heflic SAH Liliquist membrane is an arachnoid membrane which separates chiasmatic interpeduncular and prepontine systems. It is hypothesized that superior extent of the perimesing cephalic SAH is limited by the Liliquist membrane. Mensing and Lislor, after reviewing 692 published articles from various databases, have had uh, interesting observations. The center of the hemorrhage is located either immediately anterior to midbrain or pons with possible extension of the blood into the perimesing cephalic systems, forman magnum, proximal part of anterior interhemispheric fissure and to the basal part of cilium fissure. There is no complete filling of anterior interhemispheric fissure or there is no extension into the lateral part of the cilium fissure except for a very minute amounts of the blood. Frank intraventricular hemorrhage is absent. Some sedimentation of blood may be seen in the posterior horns of lateral ventricles and fourth ventricle. In conclusion, single high quality CT angiography is preferred diagnostic strategy which negates performing DSA if it is negative. Long term outcome is excellent with respect to disability and death but high quality studies focused at neuropsychological sequelae are needed. So in summary, non anismal perimesing cephalic hemorrhage is limited to the basal cisterns. It is due to rupture of basal veins and pontine perforating arteries. CT angiogram negativity is important to diagnose this condition. Thank you very much. This is about non anismal perimesing cephalic hemorrhage. Hope this video was useful for you.